Okay, so this is a quick video on uh, how to convert your Robox to having uh, a magnetic bed. Um, the main reason for this is the standard bed which I've got here, uh, which I won't put in properly, but sits like that normally, and then it's clipped in under these clips, which are all bent back, but you'll see why that is in a minute. Um, it's great, these clips, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, works well. Uh, unfortunately, after lots of heat cycles, it can peel up in the corners, uh, you get bounced in the middle, and if you're using long print, especially like if it's a diagonal print, if you need the, the length of the bed, it'll and it's ABS, the bed starts to, to turn up at the corners, so you, your model might stay stuck to the actual bed, but the bed itself peels up and then causes all sorts of problems and warps in your model. So, uh, I thought well, I could convert mine to a magnetic bed and, and you know, do away with that problem uh, and try and put magnets in these corners and in the middle to basically stop any lift of the, uh, of the bed. So, I'll just get rid of this, which you can sort of see is magnetic. Um, so you need to see, the way to do it is, first of all, you need to take your PEI sheet off uh, and obviously do this with the printer powered off but uh, I'm just doing it with that light on to give a bit of extra light to see what we're doing six screws around here for all a I think it's a t8 or a t t9 torx just pop them out and then the aluminium bed will lift out nice solid chunk there we go you can obviously see there's some magnets in here get rid of this Fold down. Oh, there we go. Right, and there's there's the heated bed of, of the Robox, which is pretty good, to be honest. Uh, it's got really good coverage. Uh, it's got a nice glass wool insulator underneath to stop the heat soaking away from the other side. Uh, and the wiring, I think if we just peel this back and have a look down there. secret away now if you see some magnets there it is I don't think you can see that but that's thick flexible uh, silicon wire which is great for current capacity which is no doubt why the bed heats up as quick as it does on a robot um, so how to make it magnetic well my first idea was I'll just bring the bed back on the underside to mill out uh, sort of one and a half mil depth by 11 mil holes and stick 10 mil neodymium magnets in in that sort of arrangement not necessarily saying that's the best but I thought magnets in the corners stop the corners coming down and a good concentration in the middle to stop the sheet bounce and the only thing you've got to remember with neodymium magnets is you need to get the high temperature ones uh, normal near new magnets lose their magnetism around 80 degrees C. It's a phenomenon called the Curie point. Uh, so, obviously, with materials like ABS, where your bed temperature is going to be maybe 100, 110, that you're going to destroy the magnetism and you won't have a magnetic bed. So, I need to get the high temperature ones. Alternative is you could get samarium cobalt, which are not quite as strong as magnets as neodymium, uh, but their temperature ratings way higher. Uh, the top of me, I think it's 300 degrees plus, so it's more than enough. But but these ones I've got the high temperature needed in 120, and they work fine. So basically, that was it. Um, did that, and then obviously that sits back in, in there like so. Uh, and I'll just show you. Uh, and obviously, it needs to be screwed back down again, and then the PEI sheet. bonded it to a thin sheet of uh, steel plate which if you're wondering where you can get steel plate from uh, in the UK B&Q do this I think it's about six or seven pounds for uh, a piece that will get you effectively three three pieces that size when cut You've got to be pretty careful when cutting it you don't want to bend it or anything or crease it uh, so take your time cutting it but and measuring but that effectively is 
uh, steel sheet with the PI uh, bonded on it. So, as you can see, I'll, I'll come back to how you bond the PI sheet to the steel in a minute, but as you can see, if I put that on there, that's magnetic now. And, and there we go, it's lifting the bed off, so I'm just going to have to do that. So that was the first method of doing it. Uh, and then I thought about it a bit more. I thought I wouldn't mind a little bit more strength in the magnets, just in case if you cut your steel sheet and you don't cut it exactly right, and you never know, at really high travel speeds, it might slide ever so slightly. Um, so just to get a bit of extra strength, what I hadn't realised is there's quite a bit of depth to, um, to this bed. So I've ended up buying some much deeper higher temperature neodymium magnets and to be honest you could probably not bother milling the sheet at all the, the Robox aluminium sheet and just use these and these are just amazingly the super glue works well these are just super glued to the plastic bed uh, so you could arrange you know a number of those underneath there and because they're quite deep magnets they're, they're much stronger than the other ones and it doesn't matter that they're separated by the full thickness of the aluminium sheet, they still have a good strong pull on the on the steel bed. So, rather than have to mess around milling, you can just put lots of magnets under here. So that's what I've done. So I've got sort of lots. I've got I've gone a bit overboard really. So I've got magnets in the uh, the aluminium sheet and under here. Uh, that's a I think that's a thermocouple in there. I, I would I would guess, but I'm not sure. So that's probably what measures the bed temperature. Um, and then yeah, just sort of put all this lot back, put it all nicely in there, put the sheet down, and then I'm going to put this back on. So I'll reassemble all that and then I'll show you how strong the magnetic uh, bed is. Okay, so that's it all back assembled. Uh, now, for me, I, the strength of the magnetism now is, is good enough that these clips I've just pushed and bent completely out of the way. Um, and the reason for, for doing that is you can just literally put this bed on there. And just, there we go. And get it sat right. And that's it. And you know, if you look at it's not moving, it's pulling the whole tray, the whole assembly is wiggling, not just the bed isn't sliding. If you pull it hard enough, it will slide. But you know, it's quite a quite a pull I'm putting on it there. Uh, and that's it. And because those clips are not like that, as soon as you finish printing, depending on what the bed is, you can just go and lift it straight off. With your part stuck to it, and then it can cool. It cools way, way quicker uh, doing that. And then, if you just happen to have another bed, you don't have to wait for that one to cool or anything like that. You can just whack, whack this another one. If someone happens to have a lock build on it, and again, magnetism, bang, it's not going anywhere. And there you have it, magnetic robot bed. So. The only other last thing is how did I bond the PEI sheet, the Robox PEI sheet, to the uh, to the steel? Well, um, well, so I guess there's a couple of options actually. One, you don't really have to use the Robox PEI sheet. You could, as I've done with this one here. There's an example of that. There we go. You're lifting the whole assembly up before this will come off. This has just had lock build put straight onto the steel uh, so that works quite well um, you could equally put a you know the 3m uh, pi adhesive sheets which actually if you look at this I was my robox pi sheet was getting pretty tired so this has actually got a 3m pi sheet stuck to the robox sheet which is interesting um, if you want to know what the 3m stuff looks like uh, I think I might. Oh, I've, I've used it all up. Oh no, I've got, I've got some small pieces here. 
So this is the, the stuff you need. Let's go the right way around. 468 MP. So the adhesive temperature is <laughs> really good. It's, it's, I think it's long term. It's 180 degrees. If you look at the tech sheet, and short term, it's up to 300. So it's yeah, that's amazingly good adhesive. And you can buy that in large sheets, which I'd suggest, and then just cut to cut to the right size for the either the steel or to paste on top of your robots bed. But if you <coughs> if you want to stick with your robots PEI sheet, obviously you've got to bond it to the steel. Uh, so the way to do that, let's just put that back in there, is to use something like this. So it's vehicle trim fix. And there you can see, temperature stable to 120 degrees. So this is just a spray on adhesive, a bit like you'd find if you're wanting to do, uh, you know, mounting cardboard or photographs in a book. So it's that kind of stringy spray on adhesive uh, that, that cures. That's perfect. That works great. Uh, 120 degrees is, is enough. And, you know, once you've bonded it to the steel, there's absolutely no way that's coming off. Um, that's it. Uh, the trim fix stuff, this stuff, uh, you can buy off eBay. Uh, or if you're in the UK, uh, walk over to the cupboard. don't use this stuff because uh, it goes off at around 60 degrees and just loses all its tackiness and actually liquefies. I couldn't find anything short term when I was experimenting so I just used a bit of this stuff. Yeah it doesn't work. It's really good for carpet though and anything else but it doesn't work for this. But this stuff uh, if you're in the UK you can get from Screwfix so it's quite easy to get hold of whereas that vehicle trim stuff you know you've got to try and find it on eBay there's no shops that particularly sell it locally none of your major retailers. Uh, so this Nemesis is, as you can see, it's high heat resistance uh, and it's up to, up to 100, which, yeah, you know, 100, 110, I've not tried it past 100, uh, but I, I mean, there's probably a bit of tolerance on that temperature range, so you might get away with 110, but not sure. But that'll definitely work for up to 100 and I've used it, uh, but I ended up swapping back to this trim fix. Anyway, that's that's it. So that's how to make your Robox uh, have a magnetic uh, bed. And it works great. I've done loads of prints on it. I've been printing uh, a Johnny 5 from Short Circuit. Here's some of the parts. You know, granted, that's PLA, so very easy to print, but worked fine. Uh, I don't think I've got anything ABS to hand at the moment, but I'm going to do a Titan ABS a Titan X ABS print in a bit, uh, so I'll maybe post some video up or footage of how that came up as well. Anyway, I hope you found the video interesting, and click like and subscribe. Thanks very much.